JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for March the 16th. I am Haralamos Pissuros, head of research here at JFD. And I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded lower or unchanged against all but one of the, of the other major currencies on Tuesday and during the Asian session Wednesday. It gained slightly only against the Euro. The greenback lost the most ground versus CAD and ZND and AUD in that order, while it was found virtually unchanged against uh, JPY and CHF. Now, with the dollar found nearly unchanged, like, nearly unchanged against the safe havens, yen and franc, we cannot say whether the strengthening of the commodity-linked Aussie, Kiwi and Looney was due to improving uh, risk sentiment or due to further escalation in the Russia-Ukraine crisis pushing commodity prices higher. So, for clarifying that, we prefer to turn our gaze to the equity world. Here we see that major European indices traded mixed within a 0.35% uh, 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 range. As investors may have stayed nervous due to the surging coronavirus cases in China, but also due to a looming FOMC decision later today. However, Wall Street, Wall Street traded and closed in the green with the improving optimism rolling into the Asian session today. This may have been due to hopes that some progress could eventually be, uh, be made in negotiations um, between Russia and Ukraine, as yesterday talks lasted more than, uh, than previous rounds, which fell apart very quickly. Indeed, and during the Asian session today, Ukrainian President uh, Volodymyr Zelensky said that uh, peace talks sounded more realistic this time, though more time is needed. This is the first time we have progress in negotiations between the two nations. However, we will not uh, get uh, overly excited and despite equity indices and other risk-linked assets having the potential to trade higher for a while more, we prefer to take the sidelines for now. We prefer to wait for an actual accord before we get confident on a stronger recovery in market sentiment. With strikes and attacks still taking place in Ukraine, even in the midst of uh, negotiations, we cannot rule out another fallout in peace dialogues and further escalation in, uh, in the conflict. Now, as for today, investors may turn their gaze to the FOMC decision, with Fed Chair Jerome Powell saying when testifying before Congress that he will support, uh, that he will support the 25 basis points hike at this gathering, such a move is fully priced in. Thus, in our view, a quarter point hike by itself is unlikely to prove a major market mover. We believe that investors will quickly turn their, their attention to the accompanying statement, the updated, economic pre, uh, the updated economic projections and the new dot plot. Remember that when testifying, Powell also said that he is ready to use larger or more frequent rate hikes if inflation doesn't slow, with last week's CPI data revealing further acceleration in both headline and underlying inflation. So, with market participants now pricing in almost seven quarter point hikes by the end of the year, it will be interesting to see how many hikes will the dot plot uh, point to. Now, anything less than what the market currently suggests could uh, disappoint and perhaps result in a setback in uh, the US dollar, while equities are likely to extend their gains. For the US dollar to continue marching higher, we would like to see officials matching or exceeding market expectations, something we see as uh, a, difficult, um, a difficult case, 
if we take into account that the December dot plot point pointed to only three rate increases in uh, 2022. Now, ahead of uh, the FOMC decision, we have Canada CPIs for February with the headline rate expected to have risen further to 5.5% uh, year over year from 5.1%. Uh, no forecast is currently available for the core rate. At their uh, latest gathering, Bank of Canada policymakers hiked by 25 basis points as it was widely anticipated, and while they acknowledged the uncertainty surrounding Russia's invasion in Ukraine, they added that rising commodity prices would fuel further inflation and that growth for the first quarter of 2022 now looks more solid that, than previously projected. This may have encouraged the loony traders to add to their bets with regards to future rate hikes by this bank and accelerating inflation is likely to allow them uh, to add some more and thereby buy more uh, Canadian dollars, more loonies. Now, tonight, during the Asian session Thursday, Australia releases its employment report for February. The unemployment rate is expected to have ticked down to 4.1% from 4.2%, while the net change in employment is forecast to show that the economy has added 37,000 jobs after adding 12.9 thousand in January. In our view, these uh, numbers point to a, decent report, to a decent report, which may allow participants to keep their RBA hike uh, bets elevated and, they are, and thereby support the Australian uh, dollar further. So, that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm hosting every Monday at 8 o'clock AM GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So, goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.